How's it going, everybody? You won't believe the dream I had last night. In it, there was a face-turning octopus, and he turned my face toward... Ah! Sorry about that. The Scube event is the equivalent of a toy that you get for your birthday, and then one day later, you throw it away. I'm not trying to say that Scube is some terrible abomination of an event. What I'm saying is that even people who really like Scube can agree that when people were pushing for it to be added to the WC, everybody wanted it. It was like this huge thing, and now it's just like a meme and people don't like it. So that's what we're going to see today. How did it decline so much? So how did we get here? How did Scoob's popularity go from people pushing really hard for it to be in a WCA event until it was added to the WCA in 2014, to now it's basically considered a meme by a lot of Cubers and not many people are really dedicated fans of the event? Well, I think to answer that question, we have to look first off at how it works. It's a corner-turning puzzle, and the method is basically to solve one layer and then do a bunch of hedge slammers and sledgehammer triggers until it's solved. Fun. Now this leads us to problem number one, in my opinion, which is the repetitiveness of Skube. Now, the, obviously the problem is, in my opinion, that a lot of it is just doing the sledgehammer and the hedge slammer triggers over and over again. And that just gets really boring really fast, just like sledge, 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 you know? Now, a counter argument to this would be, oh, just learn all the algs, and then you won't have to do sledgehammers anymore. Well, there's two main problems with that argument, in my opinion. Well, number one is you're still going to be doing sledges a lot of the time simply because it's faster than just doing algs. And two, the incentive to learning extra algs, in my opinion, for cubing should be to get faster, not to make the event less annoying. So I think the repetitiveness of skew with the sledgehammers and hedge slammers being a major part of the solve kind of turned off some people and made it boring pretty fast for a lot of people. Now, another major problem with Skube, in my opinion, that caused the downfall is the recent Skube releases. Oh wait, there are none. Seriously, there's four magnetic Skubes on the market. Four! And there hasn't been a single flagship Skube release since 2018. And it just causes this endless cycle of, like, people who might get into it if there was a new release there's no new releases, so they're not getting into it, and nobody's getting into it, so the companies are like, oh, we're not going to make any money, so they're not releasing SKUs, and it just repeats over and over. And this brings me to my final point about SKUB, which is that it's a short event. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with an event being short. The problem is, SKUB was added to the WCA. It wasn't one of the original events. And it was added right at a time when speed cube designs were starting to get pretty good. The combination of skew being a short event and being added relatively late in the WCA's lifetime caused the world records to be near where they are today in only a few years. Take the average world record. It's the oldest average world record out of all the WC events set in 2017. And the single world record was recent, but before that single world record of the U-perm scramble, the world record was from 2015, just one year after Skube was added. And this idea of Skube getting really old really fast not only applied to the world records, but also just people's experiences with the event in general. Most people didn't really show much interest in, into the event after a few years, only really the dedicated fans of Skew were really into it after, I'd say, 2016, 2017, once the new event hype was over. So do I think Skew is an objectively bad event? No. And do I think it should be removed? No, because it has a fan base, it is a twisty puzzle, and it doesn't pose any major organizational problems. However, I think if the WCA could have gone back to 2014, I think they might not have added Skube if they had seen that it wouldn't really have as much popularity as it seemed it would have. But again, I'm not trying to say that Skube is really bad. 
In fact, it has a lot of redeeming qualities about it that are good that I'll talk about in another video sometime. You know, this guy may have failed as a WC event, but it's not that bad. Now you've foiled my plan. I want you to see how much better I was than Skew.